This is Dan Krebs here talking about my book, Defining the Call, and today we're going to finish off chapter 6 as we look at the legacy of Moses. We talked about his lineage, we talked about his lessons, and now we're going to talk about his legacy. Uh, Moses left an amazing legacy upon the world around us. In fact, we are still being impacted by his legacy to this very day. People don't even realize that, but the Ten Commandments, the the guidelines that God gave to regarding morality is all based around this man named Moses. We know that God gave him the laws and the commandments of God on Mount Sinai, and he clearly and deta- with detail followed these guidelines to the T to where they affected not only the nation of Israel, but the entire world. You know, he, we read about how, we read the Bible, we read Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. They're called the Pentateuch, but in the, in the Jewish world, they call the Torah. And Moses was, was the author of these books. He was the one that God inspired to write these books. And so even creation itself was, was dictated by God to Moses to write down these words as to how the world was created, how sin began, and how God was going to create a, a, a direction, a pathway to redeem humanity unto himself. But it all had to go through the sacrificial system. And Moses was, was responsible for teaching that whole thing. You know, I say in my book that where Abraham may have birthed the nation of God, it was Moses and the Mosaic laws and commandments that breathed spiritual life into them, into these people. They were just slaves uh, in Egypt, but God had to make them into a nation. And this is where Moses came along and he gave them the, the moral foundation to live upon as a nation. The whole first nation, the whole first generation could not handle it. They rebelled against God. They rebelled against Moses, and they all died in the wilderness. But that that next generation, they went into the promised land ready to serve God. Oh, yeah, they made their own mistakes, but they went into the promised land because God gave them Moses to teach them the rules and guidelines on how to serve the Lord. Wow, what a legacy he left. What a legacy he left for for the nation of Israel and for the world around us. You know, he had to teach some pretty difficult things, didn't he? He had to teach them about sin, about the shedding of blood, of what to do on certain days of, of holy Sabbaths and, and, and the sacrificial system and what animals to sacrifice for what and, and all the holy days of, of Yom Kippur and Sukkot and all these holy days that Israel would follow, God gave Moses the guidelines for them to do so. Moses was called to teach them the full message. You know, as leaders, we are called to teach the full message to people, whether we're preachers or evangelists or, or whether we're just uh, working in a ministry. We got to make sure that people are getting the full message of what, what God's word stands for. We're not called to, to teach just the lovey-dovey stuff. It's great to talk about the love of Jesus. It's great to talk about forgiveness and heaven and angels and all these wonderful things that are so real. But we got to teach the full gospel, don't we? The Apostle Paul says in Acts chapter 20, verse 27, For I have not hesitated to proclaim to you the whole will of God, the whole counsel of God. He was taught. He was, he was commissioned to do that. And so are we. And so was Moses. And it wasn't easy giving them the full message. I'm sure Moses didn't want to teach them all the difficult aspects of the Mosaic law, but he not only taught it, but he also lived it himself. As leaders, if we're gonna if we're gonna preach it, if we're gonna teach it, guess what? We gotta live it as well. Moses was, uh, theologians say that Moses was like a, like a type of Jesus in the Older Testament because he was the mediator between God and the nation of Israel, just as Jesus is, is the mediator between us, and, and, between us and, and the Father. And so we need to realize that God had a plan in mind when it came to Moses. It was not just some guy he picked out of nowhere, but he needed to have the most humble man on the earth to lead God's people, to set the pl- to set the place, set the game plan, so that God's people would teach the guidelines when it, what, it, what it was to, to follow God. And that whole model of being a mediator st- continued on into the Newer Testament where Jesus became the mediator between us and God the Father. He stands between us and God's judgment. Moses stood between God's judgment and Israel, he pleaded for their salvation. He pleaded for their for for God to forgive them, 
even though they should have been destroyed many times because of the rebel- rebellion. Aren't you glad that, that Jesus stands between us and God's judgment, God the Father's judgment? Well, Moses was the same way in the Old Testament. You know, he had a great legacy. He had one that, that people could look up to and say, that's a man that I want to follow. That's a leader that I want to be like. You know, I would encourage you today, aim to be that kind of person. Aim to be a leader that says, I want that I want people to look at me and say, I want to be a leader like that. I want to be a person of morality. I want to be a person of integrity just like them because not only do they preach it, not only do they teach it, but they live it as well. Moses lived it. And God wants us to live it as well. So I encourage you with those words today. Be a man, be a woman of integrity. Moses was a man of of integrity. He was a man who had an incredible legacy that we know about today. In fact, we know in the Bible that, that, that he's mentioned over 750 times in the Older Testament and over 80 times in the Newer Testament. So he's mentioned over and over and over again. Will you be mentioned by people in the future saying that woman, that man of God, they were a man of, they were a person of integrity. God wants us to be, to leave a legacy that people will say, I want to follow Jesus like they did. They didn't just teach it. They lived it. And I want to be just like them. Moses was like that. He left a legacy that lasts to this very day. So that's the end of the chapter of Moses. And the next podcast, we're going to be talking about David. What an incredible man of God, King David, and how God used this man who the Bible says was a man after God's own heart. But he wasn't perfect. He had a lot of issues that he had to deal with. And we're going to talk about that as well. But thank you for listening today. And I hope you enjoyed this podcast. And I look forward to talking to you for the next one. All the best.